Right here in front of me, I got JE's brand new Milwaukee 8 Ultra Series piston. It's specifically designed to handle lots of horsepower, lots of boost, and lots of nitrous. So a lot of people ask, why did we develop this piston? One, we designed this piston to hold up to all the abuses you're gonna throw at it for with boost, nitrous, a supercharger, and to do that, we needed to do it on our Ultra Series forging. So what makes an Ultra Series forging different than the standard JE piston? Well, that's all done in the actual forging process. This piston is double forged, which aligns the grain flow, which takes the grain flow and moves it around when it's stamped and forged to make the piston stronger and have less growth. So a lot of problems with Harley pistons is that the forged pistons seem to grow a lot in the cylinders and can cause them to stick in the board. An aligned grain flow piston does not expand as much, so you can get away with running a little bit tighter piston to wall clearances. Not only does this piston work great in your extreme applications like a 400 horsepower bagger, it's also great in your standard rebuild because the piston is designed to hold up for a really long time. The forging use for the Milwaukee 8 piston is an Ultra Series FSR forging. So these particular forgings are a strutted forging that has external struts and internal struts. Each strut on the piston is designed to strengthen the part and reduce the flexing of the piston. So the struts outboard of the pin help reduce the pin flex and the struts underneath the inside the piston in between the towers prevent the towers from flexing back and forth under extreme pressures and loads. Some of the special features on this piston are an increased crown thickness to be able to hold up to high horsepower. Every piston comes with contact reduction grooves, an accumulator groove, and lateral gas ports. In addition to that, every Ultra Series piston comes with a ceramic crown coating and our tough skirt coating to help with piston skirt wear. The reason we decided to go with contact reduction grooves, an accumulator groove, and gas ports in this particular application is to aid in the ring sealing on the piston. The contact reduction grooves on the top of the piston help re-atomize any unburnt fuel that enters into the combustion chamber. A lot of times you'll hear them referred to as anti-detonation grooves over the year, but all those little grooves are there to do is to reintroduce fuel that is pulled out of suspension and re-atomize it to help burn uh, the fuel more efficiently and have a better combustion process as your engine goes through the RPM cycle. The uh, power adder accumulator groove that's been put on these particular pistons is 230 thousandths thick. What that does is it gives the top ring a, a, a firm foundation and support to keep all the ring under control under extreme boost and not push the land down to pinch the second land. Another benefit of the accumulator groove is to relieve the gas pressure off the top ring. So if we, when the combustion cycle happens, you will have some combustion gases that escape between the top and the second ring. And that's where the accumulator comes into play. What the accumulator area does is it gives an area for all those gases to accumulate. And so what happens is at high RPM, if you get a buildup of gas pressure between the top and the second ring, it can cause the top ring to unseat, flutter, and at that point you're gonna lose ring seal and your engine won't run as efficient as it should. The lateral gas ports on this piston aid in ring seal. And how do they do that? So when the combustion cycle fires, you're gonna get combustion gases that move down the side of the piston behind the top ring. So the lateral gas ports allow a channel for the gas pressure to pressurize the back side of the ring and push it on the cylinder wall. So at high boost pressures, high nitrous cylinder pressures, what that does is it takes the ring and actually pushes it up on the cylinder wall to reduce blow by and add ring seal in extreme applications. Every Milwaukee piston receives a 100% 3D undercrown mill. Why do we do that? Well, when we forge a piston, there is peaks and valleys in the forging. There's different thicknesses throughout all the different pocket areas on a FSR style forging like this one here. So what that does is, is if we can move the piston around on our forging and then come back in and mill the underside of the part in every little pocket, what we can then do is set the thickness to the, be the same throughout the entire piston. So this particular piston is 240 thousandths thick everywhere that it's milled. 
What that does is it just adds strength and it makes the piston uniform so that you don't have a thin or thick spot, which also helps balance the part as well. The skirt coating that's applied to this piston is our spray-on tough skirt. It's compatible with all different types of cylinder bores, Nicosil, cast iron, Alucil. We've done a lot of testing on this and it's all done in-house. So one of the benefits of the skirt coating is you can run obviously a little bit tighter piston the wall clearance. Um, it reduces some piston noise at startup and it prevents any galling or excessive wear on the skirt when you cold start your engine. On any of the JE Ultra Series pistons, you'll notice that they come with a ceramic crown coating. The ceramic crown coating is designed to reflect the heat off the top of the part to prevent all the extreme temperature um, from entering the piston. So you can use this on a supercharged, turbocharged, nitrous application, or even a naturally aspirated engine. All it does is, is make sure that the heat is reflecting off the piston, and by reflecting the heat off the, the piston, you're just increasing the duty cycle life of the part, because aluminum can only heat up and cool down so many times before it fails. This just helps prevent the heat from entering the piston and causing excessive heat soak, which can prematurely wear, wear out your piston forging. The new JE Ultra Series for the Milwaukee 8 engine come as a kit with two pistons, a set of rings, and pins and locks for your application. These pistons available for the standard stroke Milwaukee 8 engine. We have bore sizes in 4250, 4310, 4320, and 4500 applications. So if you're going to build a big cubic inch Harley, this is the perfect piston for you. Each piston size also is available in two different compression ratios. 10 and a quarter to one, and an 11 and a half to one compression ratio. To learn more about JE Ultra Series Pistons for your Milwaukee 8, please visit jepistons.com, or if you're interested in any other pistons we might have for your application, please feel free to log on to our website or give us a call.